Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose, and today we're going to be talking about the myth of the Latin woman written by Judith Ortiz Kofer. Now, before I go into summary analysis of this work, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment so that the channel can continue to grow. Now, this essay by Kofer um, really makes us think about the way that Hispanic women are treated in America. Within this work, uh, we see um, Judith uh, Ortiz Colfer. She's like in certain situations or in certain circumstances that she finds herself in that people expect her to be a certain thing. Um, there's this one instance within the essay where um, she's going to this um, this event where she's about to read her poetry and a woman kind of like um, calls her to the side and, and asks her, um, you know, to serve her. There's another one where she's like on a public bus and a man just starts singing to her in, in, in like in a Spanish way, um, trying to impress her. Um, you know, other men who are in the upper class, who are white, who are rich, um, they see her as a Hispanic, uh, Puerto Rican uh, woman and they kind of uh, make advances towards her. Um, men are always making advances towards her because our society, the American society, and this is what um, Kofer is kind of like depicting for us in this essay, is that in the American society, um, Hispanic women, Puerto Rican women, uh, Latinas, they're not um, not many people think about them in terms of being educated. Not many people think about them in terms of being smart or being um, business women or, you know, being advanced individuals. And you kind of see this, um, this is kind of like coming from my own point of view. You kind of see this in sitcoms. You see this on TV. You sit, see this, um, you see this in series and movies where the Hispanic woman is portrayed as a waitress, um, or portrayed as, you know, she can't speak English properly. She's always mix, mixing, um, Spanish and English together, or she's always serving people. Um, she's always in the kitchen and men are always making advances towards her because the the American media portrays the Hispanic woman as this um, spicy, passionate woman, uh, this woman that men are always after and they don't care if she's a person. It's kind of like um, she's this, this, you know, this object that you're trying to reach. And when you are a woman like um, Judith um, Ortiz Kofer, she's educated, um, she's an author, she's published, she's well known for her work in literature, um, and she's left the island, she mentions this, she left the island, she learned the um, English language very well, um, she, she knows her craft, um, and even though she's a, achieved all of this, men treat her as if she was that Latina that they're just trying to get, or that woman that they see on the bus that they're trying to you know, basically the, the, the caricature that the media has created about um, towards um, Hispanic women, um, a lot of people believe that to be the case. A lot of people believe um, that um, Hispanic women, that their places in the kitchen, that their place are serving people. And that's simply not the case. Um, you, you know, Hispanic women, just like every other um, culture and every other group of people in the world, they're educated, they go to school, they can be lawyers, doctors, or whatever they want. And Ortiz, um, you know, Ortiz, you know, she's a great example of this. Um, Judith Ortiz Colfer, she's a great example of this. Um, she, you know, her, her works are well, um, you know, a lot of people see, like, can see a different view of Hispanic culture through her work and how Hispanic women are treated within America. And that doesn't mean it's going to change anytime soon. I think um, you still see that in, in our world today, but the fact that you can see it from her perspective and what she goes through, it kind of shows you that um, it is a myth. It's the myth of the Latin woman, that the Latin woman is always looking for romance and passion um, and sleeping with people, and that's not the case. Um, the the fundamental idea that the, um, Americans believe, or a lot of Americans believe about Latin women, about you know that they're passionate people, they want romance, they want men to approach them. They're not educated. They're in the kitchen, and that's where they belong. It's a false thing. Um, and and Kofer, she really depicts that within her essay. Um, in terms of analysis, in terms of the deeper meaning in here, um, you kind of see that. Um, you know, in America, people or cultures who are in, in who are in the minority, there's always these 
ideas and concepts that are created about them that are simply not true. Um, you get the same thing with black people, Hispanic people, or uh, different types of cultures that, you know, we say that they're this, that, and this, and it's simply not true. They're well, they're rounded individuals. They're people that go after different things. Um, you know, they're not people who are not educated, uh, you know, people in, in America um, coming from all types of cultures, you know, there's different people being educated all the time. Now, Colford, does, she mentions that not all Latin women get the opportunity in America to get an education like she did um, and to become a published individual like she did. And they kind of have to fit into that um, ideal that society has, you know, fate, um, kind of set up for them. The fact, you know, some Hispanic women have to work um, as a server and, you know, they have to fit in those categories to survive in America or to exist in America because that's the narrative that's been written for them. Um, but that doesn't mean that's all that they are. They can do much more than that and they can be just like any other culture or any other type of women, women in America because they're human beings and they can do um, everything that, you know, all types of women can do. Um, so th that's the essay, and you know it's a it's a very interesting essay coming from because um, you always get literature that shows you how um, different cultures go through things. Um, the Hispanic perspective is quite interesting. It's not a a you know their color is not being judged against. It's the fact that you're getting the female perspective. The fact that. They're, you know, men are advancing towards them. The fact that they're expected not to be educated, the fact that they're expected to be mothers and be in the kitchen um, and they, they're fighting against that. And, um, you know, they're very successful at it. So that's my summary analysis. Um, please remember to leave a like, subscribe and or comment. And I'll see you guys in my next video.